Amanda here from createyourfuture.co. Guys, we have an exciting video for you. When I say we, I mean me and Jerry. Um, yeah, if it's a video, but um, if you're feeling stuck, um, what you can do to get unstuck. So I'm excited to dive into that. Um, just before I do, guys, we do have a free course, How to Identify Your Blocks to Manifest Anything Fast. It's going to be able to help you um, fine tune your mental diet and what may be standing in the way of you and what you want so it's going to help you get yourself out of the way okay um yeah so it's a great course um and you know even if you don't feel like or you don't know what is like what's blocking you um you know doing the free course just to like you know identify and build your mental diet is going to be so important because you know i mean that that's the key here is mental diet okay and persistence and putting energy towards it right okay and just before i dive into it guys um yeah if you are looking to become a coach we do have some coaching spots filled you can email us um email address is in the description um yeah so just before we dive into it as well i do have a course how to find your no how to create the relationship you love as well as how to to no affirmations to get rid of the third party oh my goodness you know what i'm reading my notes and talking at the same time and <laughs> i've got too many voices in my head they're all talking please make them stop i don't know which one to listen to anyway i know the video is going to be good so yeah i think you know it, it's come up recently you know people feeling stuck and you know I felt stuck myself at other times, right? So, you know, when it comes to feeling stuck, you really want to identify what's the story? Like, why are you feel like you feel stuck? A lot of the times it's going to be because you haven't seen movement yet in your reality, which is totally fine. So, you know, if, if you say, well, I feel stuck because I haven't seen movement, then you're like, no, I intend to see something. One of my manifestations happen and happen now. So this actually happened to me the other day. I've been manifesting and, and intending and affirming my butt off like seriously with paper and pen and books and you know really getting to business but nothing's showing up and when that happens it's i i do start to feel stuck sometimes and then so then what i said was no i intend one of my my intentions show up right now like seriously just show up and then all of a sudden you no kidding someone called me and said hey guess what happened and Boom, that was one of my intentions right there. So, you know, don't let yourself go down the thoughts that make you feel stuck because your thoughts are going to create the feelings inside you, right? So, if you feel like, you know, here's a good example. I guess it is kind of a success story, right? So, I was like hanging out with somebody and we wanted to go out for dinner because we were hungry. And the person said to me like, oh, that restaurant's going to have such a long lineup. And then we're going to be like sitting there forever and starving. And it's going to take like all night for us to get there. And then the service is probably going to be slow. And I was, and they were already getting upset about it. And I was like, wow, I'm like, we're not even at the restaurant yet. We don't even know if there's like a wait for people and you know, you're already getting upset over it. You know, <laughs> it's like, so, you know, if you think something right now that you don't want, you can feel it, it, it gets you upset. Or, you know, have you, you, you've probably experienced, you know, somebody says something that you don't want to happen and just hearing it upsets you, right? You know, so you've got to watch what you're thinking, right? So you always want to be thinking things that are going to make you feel good. So does thinking I'm stuck make you feel good? No. So you got to say, no, I'm unstuck and my manifestation is coming. Everything is working. So you got to change that story because your thoughts are going to create how you feel about your manifestation as well, right? Because your thoughts create everything. They create how you feel. They create what you see in your 3D. Um, yeah, because this is your quantum bubble. And everything in your bubble is created by your beliefs, your assumptions, your thoughts, okay? And you're basically the writer and the director. And everybody in your reality is on your stage. And they're all playing the part that you've assigned for them. Okay. So if you don't like what you've assigned for them, then what you want to do is you want to rewrite that. Okay. So other things that you want to do when you're stuck is a lot of the times what's missed is assumptions of other people. I know we talk about self, you know, concept a lot, you know, that working on ourselves, which is great. Never would just, you know, discourage that working on say our relationships about beliefs or money. That's great too. But one thing that's overlooked is the assumptions of the other person. 
Okay. So if you're feeling stuck, you know, if it's a relationship, you know, start saying, you know, what does Jerry think about you? What do you want Jerry to think about you? What do you want Jerry to see? Like say to you, what, what do you want him to, um, to show up as, you know, how often do you want to see him? So start putting some more things out there as, you know, being Jerry, do you know what I mean? Um, and that will usually get you unstuck. And just, you know, basically by stop saying you're stuck, saying, look at, you know what, this is happening. It's happening now. It's working. I'm getting what I want. You know, I'm going to see movement. Movement's always happening and I'm always seeing it. Um, you know, things like that will also help to to move it along. Right. So, yeah, I think I think that's, uh, you know, that's that's really important, you know, is to take a look at the story. Um, you know, that you're telling yourself, you know, why are you, what's the story behind telling yourself you're stuck? Why, why do you feel stuck? And, you know, identifying what thoughts those are and changing them, right? So you can choose to feel stuck or you can choose to feel like it's happening and you're getting what you want. I mean, but more often than not, really, you know, when you're stuck, just put more energy and effort into what you are manifesting, you know, put more intentions, put more affirmations. You can never put enough onto what you want. Okay. Because you're basically building a new story, right? So if you think about it, like is building like a Lego house, right? You know, it's like, you don't want to just put one or two bricks. No, no, you're going to build the foundation, right? Then you're going to start building the walls. Like, you know, at first building your little Lego house is a lot of work. Okay. And then when your house is finished, boom, your manifestation came, right? Okay. And now all you need to do when you get it is maintenance on your house. A brick may fall off. You put the brick back. So that's the same thing as manifesting something new and changing your story, okay? At first, it's going to be a lot of affirmations, a lot of intentions, because you're building the house. As soon as the Lego house is built, that's when, boom, your manifestation shows up. And then after that, it's just maintenance, okay? So, but you've got to put a lot of persist and, and a lot of, you know, a thought into what you want to see here and feel and, and how you want your your you know, manifestation to show up, especially if you have an old story that you're changing, you're going to need to change that story. Okay. You're going to need to change what you've already had a story about him to change him to the story of where he's playing the part that you want. Right. So yeah, you know, some people even visualize their specific person in their head and, um, you know, and visualize basically, you know, them saying all the things they want to hear. That's a really good way to do it. Some people just write it on paper. Me, I just think it, I don't visualize anything. I mean, you're doing it right. As long as you're focusing on what you want and you're not questioning and you're not, you know, frustrated, things aren't happening and you're not feeling stuck and you're not feeling anxious. If you're void of all of that and you're focusing on what you want, then you are going to get it rather quickly. Okay. And that's where you want to get yourself to that place is neutral and thinking about your manifestation and, and with the belief in yourself that it is going to come because you do need to believe if, if you don't think that this works, you know, law of assumption works and your, and your thoughts don't create, well then, you know, you're creating a block for yourself. Do you know what I mean? So if you're already questioning, you know, if this even works, so, you know, everything's got to be in line with, yes, my thoughts create, I'm using my thoughts to manifest this person. This is what this person thinks about me. And this is what's happening, you know? Yeah, guys, I intend that that helps you. Um, yeah. So obviously one voice took over in the end. And <laughs> I was able to clearly articulate the video. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.